The facts have become quite well known. Briefly, they are that for, for over 30 years, Bernie Madoff ran what appeared to be a highly reputable and successful investment business in New York. He was a leading figure on Wall Street and was heavily involved with a number of boards and industry commissions which were concerned with the regulation of the securities industry. He served for a period as chairman of NASDAQ. And there were three arms to his business, at least ostensibly. There was a market-making function, there was a proprietary trading arm, and there was an investment advisory or an investment management business. And it later transpired that it was in that side of the business, the investment advisory arm, that a fraud on a truly breathtaking scale was being perpetrated. It's easy with the benefit of hindsight to reflect on the well-known factual matrix, but a key takeaway for any stakeholder, be they professional advisor, potential investor or other, is that viewed through any lens, there were several indicia, telltale signs, or as they are referred to in the Madoff litigation, red flags, that should have put people on notice that Mr Madoff and his network were engaged in fraudulent activity or that something was amiss. The particular combination of people, locations, the particular facts of the Madoff story may not be repeated exactly, but I think there are some lessons that can be learned that will hopefully give hedge funds, financial institutions and their insurers the best chance of avoiding being caught up in any repetition.